Hi there everyone, in this video we're going to look at the seven aside press. So how we're going to set up and how we're going to win the ball back basically. Now I'm going to look at two different scenarios mostly. So those that play with a back two, so maybe like a two, three, one, so like two midfield players and a, a lonely striker. I'm also going to look at um, three at the back and then one centre and two forwards like what I prefer to play. So the, the important thing is, is we've got three forward players and three back players. OK, so I've got my two centre forwards and I've got a centre half in blue. I've put the centre half over here to the right. You could be this person, you could be this person. It doesn't really matter. The important thing is, is we have this um, attacking arrowhead shape. OK, so I've put these lines on here so you can actually see the arrow a bit better. And then basically any any player in this central zone, so like in this half, middle half of the pitch, we play them up. And if they set up like this, it's great for us because we have an extra player that's just floating and free. And we're going to play a mark and where we can, we're going to be in front of that player. So it just makes it really difficult for them to pass. So wherever they go, you go basically. And this person, you're free. To, um, to occupy this sort of area. Now, uh, maybe a slightly better formation would be this. So they have three back players with these wing backs, what we play, um, a centre and two forwards. So it's a bit harder for us here, but we will be player marking. Um, ideally, this would be in front. So we, we front mark. So it just that puts a question in their mind. Can I hit this ball here? Well, no, because there's a player there. OK, and if they lead anywhere, you go with them. OK, so that's the basic setups that you will experience. You know, outrageous if they did this. So they play with one back and they just promote loads of people. So I might, like, well, OK, good luck getting it there because we're in a super position here. Um, I've dropped this one a little bit further back because there's no threat here. If they start leading, then this player can they come out. And you just you just have to communicate. But then they're basically I just let them go, and then we can take this player because is there danger over here? No, that's not dangerous. The danger is the goal line. So if someone does lead out that way, just let them go because this person can step up to put doubt in the minds of the pass, and we can just play a mark and basically go back to this. Okay. So I think these are the two most likely scenarios you're going to face. And, you know, we're not really changing anything. OK, so. In this case, so, yeah, because we're player marking it, let's talk about this extreme case if they were to do this and, you know, they did lead there. Remember, we're player marking. So in this situation, you've just got to try not to win the ball, just put pressure on the ball. And we might have, this would be the ideal situation for us. But, you know, again, try and front mark. I don't know why I've put them behind, but just be really t cl close and tight. And yeah, just try and slow them down. Centre forward, you might need to be aware for this. So you might be looking to make this sort of run. But we're still in a really good position if they do it. But to be honest, it's pretty outrageous if they were to try that formation. OK, so I want to take a minute to talk about the individual roles of each player. So this is far simpler than the like the pocket press, which is a great press. But if one person gets it wrong, the whole thing falls apart. So we've tried it. I've tried it many times and it's just not really worked. So I'm going to go back to basics in many ways. So the front player of the attacking arrowhead, you're responsible for these two. There might only be one. There. The the the. Player on the right, it could be a centre forward, it could be the centre half, you're responsible for this player. And the centre forward on this side, you are responsible for that player. Okay. Now, obviously, we're player marking here, and it's a bit premature here, but the left wing in this situation, you haven't got anyone. So you're just looking for danger. You can go anywhere in this sort of area. Because the ball's on the left, I tend to put you here. If, if this person was taking it, I might have you a bit more over here. Because you're just being a nuisance basically, but we're free. In um, this situation, obviously it's the same for the front three and your player marking in the back. So wherever they go, you go and you'd be front marking at this point. 
That's pretty simple, right? You know, it, it's very easy to do and recreate multiple times. So let's talk about the press. This is what this video is all about. Now, what we're going to look at to start off with is um, a simple transfer to this other centre back. So hopefully the arrowhead, you all move in the same direction. So with a press, what I need to get in all of your heads is you're not trying to make a tackle. You're not putting pressure on it. You're just holding positions and we're just going to force a pass. And when we force the pass, if we're in a wonderful position, they will pass to us. That's the whole point of a press. You put pressure on the ball and you win it in the areas you want to win it. So I'm not going with this player here. I'm waiting for them to make a rubbish pass and we intercept it. Um, obviously, you're expecting their player to move, but again, we just play a mark. And if that's the same for here. So now what I'd expect them to do, again, okay, here we go, a bit more player marking. And the left wing, what's the point of you being over there? There's no danger anymore. So let's just come more central and just give us that security that we need. So I'd expect this pass to happen. Now, when this pass happens, this is what we want. This is when we come alive. This is where we're going to win the ball back. And we're going to try and win it in this area here. Um, why? This is our forehand side. It is there. Oh, well, it, you know, it is also their forehand side. OK, um, sort of. Oh, no, it's not. It is their backhand. It's our forehand. But that's not important. It's we are trying to press it on our forehand side. OK, so we're most likely to win it. So remember I said the centre half, you're responsible for this player. So what you must do is a little arcing run and, and stop a 45. So this inward pass. The centre forward, I don't know if you saw, but the centre forward now cuts this pass off. This is no longer an option. So this person cannot pass infield. It cannot pass back. You're not closing in. You're basically making yourself a nuisance. You're going to say, go on then, hit it through me. Just be nice and low, showing your forehand and just stop anything that comes through here. You know, because they might panic and try to, that's brilliant. You get the ball, quick early pass, you've got a three versus two, okay? Now, you know, if, if they're a good team, they're going to run into these channels. If they're a poor team, they're gonna stay here, okay? So if they run into the channels, what you need to do is you need to front mark, and again, create some distance, that's absolutely fine, because can you do this? Of course, because we have this player as backup. So this is why we want to win it in this area. We either win it here, the forced pass, or we allow them to pass it down the line. This is why you must be a 45. We allow them to pass down and we front mark. If you are waiting here, you've just messed up everything and all the hard work from your teammates has gone to waste. So have the confidence to front mark and allow this player here. So there's no option here because we're front marking. There's no option here because we've cut it off. There's no option in field because we've cut it off. And the other centre forward, you could even come in as well just to make it even more crowded and make an easier three versus two if we get the ball. Okay. Now, what about this scenario where they're playing three at the back and we're player marking, so we don't have that easy luxury? Well, let's do it again. So obviously that's been a, a longer pass. This player might actually be a bit squarer, but we're still going to try and win it in here. The centre forward still cuts off the transfer. The centre staff, centre half, or whoever's on the right side of the attacking arrowhead, also cuts off the 45, and we play them up. Okay, like I said, a good team. They might make these sort of leads. That's what you would hope from your players. And you know, this is this is a bit more problematic. But just be front marking. So we could stay like this and always front mark. And maybe the centre forwards, the, so the left of the diamond. You could be thinking about counter defence here. It's not our ideal situation, so a bit of counter defence. But even better would be this move. Okay, so you could, I know you could just give a call. So from here, you could say um, to whoever this player is, okay, press, okay. So press the box, or um, you know. Yeah, just press. They should know what it means because the ball has gone there. So oh, here we are. So we do that. And now we're in a better position to try and win the ball back in this area. Okay, does that make sense? I hope so. So that's where we want to win it. But obviously, they're not always going to pass it there. 
So let's go back to this situation and let's look at this pass. So we don't want it to come down this line because it's my backhand. I'm very unlikely to receive this ball. So this centre forward, again, you're responsible for this player, but you're cutting the line pass. So you're not doing the 45 this time, you're cutting the line. Okay? And again, you're not going to it. You're going to be a good five, maybe, five, yeah, five metres, maybe even a bit further, saying, you're not hitting it down here. I'm going to stop every time on my forehand. Centre forward, you're not going to cut off this pass because actually this is what we want to do because we want him to send it back round here so we can win the ball over here. So the left wing, you're just going to come across and what we have now is this sort of pocket, okay, this little pocket here. So they might try and force this pass. So again, this is really annoying. This person should be here. We should always be front marking. So then is it on? No, okay. This person could lead with player markings. If they lead, you follow them. If this player leads, you follow them. Okay? So, and again, I'll just point this out. So, okay, it's over here. Let's start thinking, well, we're not attacking. Let's think counter defense. Okay? Let's make sure I'm in a good position to counter D. Right. So, what we can do here is if there's a lead, obviously, we're going to play a mark. Now, they're not in a really good position. So when the ball comes in, look at our position. We can we can press that, okay? Remember, we're not trying to win the ball. We're just putting huge amounts of pressure. Again, thinking counter defense, just in case the worst thing happens, like we commit a foul. Like, please don't commit a foul there. That is the worst thing you can do. But if you do that, it's still a 2v2 in this situation, unless we start talking about this player. But the pressure, like huge amounts of pressure, get their head down and allow them to pass out, okay? That's what we're allowing them to do, pass it out so they can transfer the ball and we can press it where we want to win the ball back. So if they do that, what we do is we just go back, okay? We just go back to that same thing. We're still player marking nice and tight, um, or even, even better, front marking super tight, and then basically they should, they should go, oh, I'm not doing that again, and come back, okay? So if they come back, we move over into our original positions. Their centre half should move. So again, we play a mark, okay? Um, it should be easy if they play a back two with wingers, okay? It's so much easier because there's so much more space for us. Better formation. Oh, okay, and obviously you come back. You're not gonna just sit over there if the ball's come back, you want to take the middle. So this is far more challenging for us and this is why we play this formation. So let's talk about it coming here. Same thing, cut the line, just cut a square pass basically. Um, we are player marking here. So, you know, what's the what's the ideal situation? That. That is the ideal situation because this player is way over here, okay? Um, even if they come in, is that on? No, no, it's not on. So let's just see that again. So... You know, we could stay like this. We could stay as player marking and just hopefully get the ball where we should be able to get the ball. And then as it's played in, this can be counter defense. Ideally, this person shouts to this person, okay, press, because we're pressing the ball. You shouldn't have to say anything more. So press and I'll take your player. Okay, so then we have the pocket again. They're not, you know, if they, if they pass it in, we could, you know, do a little pocket press. Put pressure, no foul. You're not trying to win the ball. You're just trying to put pressure. Again, here, just the last time, you're not trying to go in and take the ball. You're putting pressure on a pass. You're forcing a mistake. So they should do this. If they've got any sense, they should do that. So then we come back to our position. Um, and that's really important, okay? When we're making this switch between players, it's got to be fluent. So we're sprinting all the time. Okay, that's the press. Um, obviously, they might lead down the left foot of the centre forward, and this happens. Again, don't try and win the ball. Just put loads of pressure. Just shadow them. And what we're trying to do is thinking counter defence, just in case, you know, if it was the other side, then this player would do counter defence. It's always thinking, we haven't got the ball. I'm ready for counter defence. And then put pr enough pressure so they pass it back to either this player or maybe this player. If they start to pass it back, to this player, obviously then we're going to the press on this side. 
If they pass it back here and it goes over here, we go into the press on this side. So you have to understand your press, but it's pretty simple, right? Because each player has a one role. There's not much thinking going on. So I think we'll like this press a lot more. So thanks for watching everyone. And I hope it makes sense.